Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and uh, through my experimentation, and after I have OAuth 2 working, an H to A with OAuth 2, where the user has to uh, fingerprint themselves with an email, and then they're authenticated to against the agent, and then agent to agent using IAM and identity access management keys, and email, you know, pseudo emails between agents. We need an, a registry. We need somewhere to um, register our agents and then clients can discover those agents from the registry and then call them appropriately. Now let's take a look at this and I'm gonna be showing this from two machines because I, I'm limited in, in, in the public access that I have so far. So this is on my local machine and I have this um, agent registry. I'm calling it agent exchange. And there's a main file, a models file. It's all built on Google OAuth and authentication and agent cards. Okay, so we have some models, some routes, some storage and some utilities. An example ENV might be your Google client ID, the domains you trust, and a session secret. All right, we have a Docker file to build this up and the required pip installs. So this is already running and I have this uh, available on the web here. So we're gonna take a look and watch the logs here. And um, I'm gonna show you some endpoints. So I have a health endpoint. We can see the agent registry is running. We have the swagger and I have no agents right now. So pay attention to that, zero agents so far. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the other computer and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's bring up the uh, selector agent on this computer. And um, we're going to go ahead and register the A to A portion with the registry that's set up over on the other system. So everything's going to be over the public internet. Here's our agent. And we're going to go ahead and visit the agent card. So here's our agent card. And now we're going to go ahead and log in because I've decided to keep human in the loop. So we're going to go ahead and authenticate. And you can see here, right, welcome to the selector agent. You can post with requests. In the background, you can see that we've registered with the agent registry. And it's all been verified. The registry has verified the tokens and everything. So now let's switch back to the other computer, okay? Okay, so we're back over here. Let's refresh the page. And check it out, we've registered the agent in the agent registry. Okay, so now we have a registry that has used authentication and identity to register an agent. Now, obviously my next steps are to build a client or, or adjust my client instead of going to a hard-coded agent to use this registry of agents that I've set up to call that agent that I have running. That's gonna be my next step. Pretty cool, stay tuned. Okay, we're back over on the other computer. Now check this out, I've rewritten a client. I know it's exciting, Chloe. A sample client, now watch this. We're gonna run the client and it's gonna fingerprint me and I've gotta to go to Google and auth myself. Now I get this new link and I'm talking to the registry now, the agent exchange. Whoops, wrong window. I'm talking to the agent exchange now. Uh, I'm sorry, hang on. That's the wrong window. Uh, I'm talking to the agent exchange here, so I fingerprint myself. And now, check it out, registered agents. Let me crank up the view. And I'm not saying that this is the, the end of the, where I'm going to end up with this. But for now, just to prove. So I fingerprinted myself against the registry, and the registry is now offering me access to, and I'm going to say selector plus, here's the agent card, and now I can say, can you please ask selector the health of device S3. Now hang on a second, hang on a second, let me get the agent camera going here, and um, we'll try to get this going here. So there's the agent camera on there. And we're going to go ahead and fire our question now. And you see it? You see it? Isn't that neat? So 
right? This agent, right? There's my agent registry logs. And now we have the answer back that S3 is currently in a failing state. So now I'm using agents that I've discovered through an agent registry. So what's next? Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to do an advancement and add retrieval augmented generation. So this is going to change the registry a little bit. And as agents register themselves, I'm going to turn some of their key information from the registry card, the agent JSON card, into vectors and store them in a vector store. And then my client I'm going to adjust when the human words come in. I'm not going to select the agent up front. I'm going to have the user ask a question, turn that into vectors and do a semantic search to pick the best agent based on the match, and then just go ahead and pass the question along to the agent. That's next. Okay, the rag thing happened really quickly. Let's check this out. And just to let everyone know, I am using IAM, right? The IAM, Identity and Access Management, OAuth 2 for users and for agents to check in, and then service accounts for agent to agent. All right, I just wanna make that clear. So, right, our agent registry is running. We have the swagger, right? And we're going to register an agent, which I've done. Okay. And here's the agent. Now, you wouldn't know this, but now it's actually in a vector store in this agent registry. And when I go ahead and run the client, we're going to go ahead and run the client now. Let me crank up the zoom. You're not going to believe this. So what I thought was, right, instead of, obviously, instead of selecting, it's going to be better. But let's make this as, as automated as possible. Okay, so we're going to run the client. And it's going to fingerprint me. And I'm going to copy this link and log into my enterprise and return the two-factor authentication. All right, so I'm authenticated. What do you want to ask? Can you please... Ask selector the health of device S3. So look at selected agent, selector plus, loaded and initialized the client. And here is the, you know, uh, could you please clarify what would you like to ask selector about the device? All right, let's try this again. Uh, let's just do it from scratch again. That wasn't a great example. Human problem. We're going to re-authenticate. We're going to take the link. And we're going to say, can you please ask selector the health of device S3? Now over here, right, I should have brought on the other camera. Uh, we can see that not only has it selected the right agent card, it's gone ahead and we've got the answer here that it's in violation. So we've moved on real quickly from human picking an agent that was discovered, which is an option still, maybe for enterprise, if we have you know, a list of agents and you follow it like old text-driven mazes to get to the agent, or a rag approach where we ask the question, vectorize that, do a similarity search against the agent card vector database, to pick the best agent semantically and then pass the question along to that agent. Thank you so much for your interest in this. Um, again, prototype, early idea, an agent exchange, a DNS for agents, an ANS, an LDAP for agents, an ADAP, right? Agent directory protocol, right? I just want to throw this out there because of the progress I've made with the OAuth and the agent to agent it makes sense just to have this registry. Uh, so if you have agents you want to register with me, that would be a lot of fun. So please get your A to A agent going. All my code is open source. We can bring up the registry. You could register your agent from your side of the world, register my agent from my side of the world, try our client, see how the rag works. Awesome. All right, we'll see you soon.